Hi, I'm John from Chatomize, and in this video, I will explain how you can create a chatbot on Telegram. In this video, I will show you how you can set up a welcome message, automatically reply to a question, and how you can connect your chatbot to Telegram. And for this tutorial, I will be using ActiveChat as the chatbot builder to create my chatbot. And if you're not familiar with them, I posted a link in the description. Let's dive in. So now I am in my active chat dashboard and I will just click on new bot, choose for the start new, then click on next. And I will change the bot name to telegram bot and just click on next. So now active chat will create my bot for me. I just need to wait a little bit. And now my chatbot is created, so I can just click on open intense. So the first thing we want to do is create our welcome message. And in order to do that, we will go to automation and go to skills. And normally I would talk about chatbot flows, but in active chat, these are called skills. And active chat has some default skills like the start and the default skill. And these are all appearing here at the top. And the start skill is the skill for the welcome message which is the message that appears when someone chats for the first time with your chatbot. And as you can see, ActiveChat already gave us two text blocks. So if you would trigger the start message now, then it would say these two messages. So I will delete the second message because we won't need that and we can change the first message. So let's say we want to create a customer service chatbot. Then we can say something like, hey, and then we can use the first name of the user because we're using Telegram. Telegram already knows the first name of the user, so we can use that in our chatbot. So then we can say dollar sign underscore type in Telegram and then type in the first name. You can just select it and then you can say something like, do you want to talk to sales or customer service? And then we can add two buttons so here you have buttons you will click on this one and you say sales and do it again for customer service then we can create a new message so if you go to this menu and then select the text under talk they can say something like you will be redirected to the sales department and we can copy that and do the same for customer service just change the message and then we can attach these buttons to the right messages and then you just need to click on run so this will be a really simple welcome message and the next thing we will do is automatically reply to a question. So we already handled the skills. Now we will go to intents and then create a new intent called opening times. And if you click on enter, then you can create training phases. So you want to capture the intent of the user when you need to say something about opening time. So you can say, when are you open? And add the phrase I'll click on enter at the phrase what are your opening times are you open in the weekend these are just really simple training phrases that you can add to your chatbot and then you can set two kinds of responses so you can set a simple response and with the simple response you just reply with a text or you can reply with a skill. So in general, I would recommend to always go with the skill because with a skill you can do much more than just with a simple text response. You can send multiple messages, you can ask questions, you can use buttons, and that's not possible with just a simple response. So I always recommend to go with a skill, but we haven't created one yet, so we'll go to skills, and then we can add a new one by clicking on the plus sign, and say opening times create the skill and we will just add a simple text block which says 
we are open every day from 9 to 5. Click on run. Then we go back to intents. Choose the opening times intent. And then choose the skill opening times and click on save. Then active chat will train the bot which will last for a certain amount of time. And now our bot is trained. So the last thing we need to do is connect this bot to Telegram. So if we go to settings and then go to channels, then you have here the Telegram channel. And we only need the Telegram API token. So if we head over to Telegram, we need to talk with the bot father. So just you can just search for bot father. It was already in my recent chats, but you just search for bot father and click on start. And then you can see their message and we can create a new bot by typing in new bot. So we will do that, slash new bot. All right, how are we going to call it? Well, we call it Chatomize test and we will call it Chatomize test bot. So it needs to be called bot. And now we have the token, so this is the token that we need to use. Paste it there, click on connect, it's connected, and then if we go back and click on this link, and then click on start, the welcome message should be shown to us. And it says, hey Jordan, do you want to talk to sales or customer service? If we say sales, you'll be redirected to the sales department. And if we click on customer service, you'll be redirected to the customer service department. And if we type in, when are you open? We are open every day from nine to five. And that's how you create a chatbot with active chat and put it on Telegram. If you have any questions about how you can put your chatbot on Telegram yourself, please leave a comment below and I'll reply as soon as possible. If you want more videos on how you can use chatbots in your marketing, please subscribe to my channel. And if you haven't done this yet, also click the like button below.